Anyone who travels regularly knows that it can be stressful, tiring, and time-consuming, not to mention the disappointment and frustration of a delayed flight. In fact, 20% of all flights are delayed 15 minutes or more. But considering the massive amount of planning that goes into one flight, it's actually pretty amazing so many flights make it there on time. So what does airline planning look like anyway? To put it simply, airline operation planning is like an extremely complex puzzle. The purchase of an aircraft is an enormous cost to the airline. So in order to generate enough revenue to pay for it, the airline needs to fly that airplane as much as possible every day. It is not uncommon for a Boeing 737 to have as many as six or seven flights a day. That's a lot of time in the sky. But of course, what goes up must come down and planes do have to spend some time on the ground. Accounting for aircraft ground time is a key component in scheduling an aircraft. Too much time in the sky could mean added time to ground maintenance, but too long on the ground could be a waste of precious time that the aircraft could be flying. Both situations could potentially raise the cost of a ticket. Next, crew members, such as pilots and flight attendants, must be scheduled for the flight deck and cabin. They are only human, so they're subject to fatigue and need much more rest than the airplane. Crew schedules are highly complex and constantly changing. Planners have to follow strict safety regulations, respect union agreements for crew quality of life, fairness, seniority, minimize the risk of a schedule disruption, and minimize crew costs associated with long transfer times, hotels, meal allowances, and standbys. On top of that, different airlines as well as different countries have different crew contracts and regulations, which all must be taken into account to create a stable schedule. In the best case scenario, crew members follow the aircraft schedule. But to optimize that schedule, crew members often have to connect from another aircraft, increasing the risk of delayed flights. But what if the first aircraft does a delay? It could create a domino effect on all the other flights that are waiting on the delayed crew. So why else could a flight be delayed? It could be due to security issues, technical problems, fueling delays, unavailable gates, bad weather, delayed aircraft, or delayed crew members. If one of the crew members is missing, they might be replaced by another crew member on standby, or it might be possible to make changes to the crew schedule to staff the affected flight. On the other hand, if the aircraft is unable to fly, there usually isn't an aircraft on standby to step in unless they are lucky. Sounds like a lot, right? But when all the right puzzle pieces fit together, it creates a safe and affordable experience for both crew members and passengers. Thank you.